Hi, my name is Christopher Malcolm. I'm a Los Angeles-based lifestyle, fitness, and active wear photographer and director. So there's a lot of cohesion between kind of the fitness and activewear market and the outdoor market. Uh, basically for me, uh, whenever I approach a project, no matter who the client is, it's always about, you know, the story being told and who is the character that I'm portraying on screen. You know, uh, when I'm working with a model or a talent, you know, they're there basically to represent the consumer. So whenever I uh, do a project, I, I always start with that kind of premise. I start with the idea of, okay, who's my main character? What is it that they're trying to you know, get out of life? And how does the product help them achieve that? I've always had a connection to the water. So when it came to uh, figuring out kind of how I wanted to visualize this story, uh, it always kind of came back to that. I went to a number of different kind of locations. I knew I wanted to do something trail running related. Um, but I went back to a number of locations and I, always, and I fi eventually found one uh, that kind of combined both trail running with my own kind of passion for being uh, by the ocean, and um, I, 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 always, I just love the you know the sound of the crashing waves, the environment, all of the various uh, kind of um, life forms that you see running around, from the birds to the seals. It's, it's just always a fantastic uh, kind of environment and a great way to connect with both uh, my own physicality, but also kind of the world around me. I'm a big planner, as most people know. Like I, I tend to go into every shoot with a you know, a hundred page shot list of uh, knowing exactly what it is that I want to do. Um, but with this project, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try to um, do a little more, uh, a little more freestyle, a little more kind of um, in the moment uh, and kind of just see where it could take me. So to accomplish that, I got in touch with Casey, who's a friend of mine who I've got a chance to photograph on a couple of occasions and a great person is also a terrific athlete. And so my concept was to simply, you know, get this great location, uh, go out, and, and go for a run. Uh, you know, now some, sometimes that was faster than others. Uh, when you're running with a large DSLR, you, you may be not going to be running quite as fast as you might like. Uh, just, you know, both for the, your back, but also for the, you know, the, the, it's not a good idea to run that fast with the lens and the camera. And it's not great for the camera either. Uh, but, you know, I ran about as much as I could, and I kind of let Casey run. And, I mean, together we ran for several miles. Um, and then along the way, I would just kind of stop and shoot and kind of create some art from that. Um, and again, you know, I, the story I was trying to tell was that of kind of this adventurous. You know, I want this uh, woman kind of going out there and kind of taking charge of her life, taking charge of the world around her, and really just kind of, you know, going after it, you know, going the distance. I've always felt like running is a great metaphor for life itself, you know. Um, you know, I say life is a marathon, it's not a sprint, right? You know, it's not about who can get from, you know, over 100 meters the fastest, it's who can go the distance. You know, uh, some people start slow and then, you, you, you know, you trudge through, you trudge through, but, you know, if you work hard and you keep going and you keep exploring and you get get over those little parts of life that uh, are stumbling blocks. You get over those little parts of life that are tough and make you want to give up. I feel like, you know, if you can push through those, you know, you can eventually get to your ultimate goal, you know, one way or another. As a photographer and director, my goal is to create positive imagery. Uh, it's to create um, stories that uh, hopefully can inspire the audience to reach out and achieve their dreams. Uh, you know, and I've always said that, you know, kind of fitness and active is like almost a per perfect metaphor for being able to do that. I mean, if you think about, you know, you think about Rocky, you think about Friday Night Lights, you think about, uh, you know, any great sports movie is generally about, uh, you know, a guy or a girl who is uh, facing, you know, great odds, facing great obstacles, but trying to overcome them to achieve, you know, success, you know, whether that be a big championship 
or whether that be, uh, you know, just proving to themselves that they have the courage to get into the ring. Um, and that's really what kind of draws me to photography and art in general, is the ability to kind of create art that can convey that kind of encouraging message uh, to an audience. You know, running a marathon, right? It, it's not about, um, it's not easy. It's not exactly unscary, <laughs> you know? It's, um, it requires you to put yourself out there. It requires yourself to take a chance. It requires you, you to uh, potentially look, look foolish by, fa by failing to uh, complete this marathon uh, or doing like the Gatorade commercial, the guy that got the Jimmy legs and he's, and he's falling down at the end, right? Um, but it requires you to kind of get out there and, uh, and make life happen, right? Uh, it, it requires you to take a chance. It requires you to, you know, know that it's not going to be easy. You know, a, a marathon's not just running from here to the end of the block. A marathon, you know, you're going to start fast. You're going to do what, pretty well at a certain point. Uh, during it, you're going to feel like, oh, my God, my legs are about to fall off and I'm about to die. Uh, you're going to feel like, oh, I can't do this. I can't go one step further. And then you have to push yourself even further to kind of get through it. Um, and then at the end of that, cross the finish line. And, and you've achieved your goal. And it hurt a whole lot to get there. But boy, oh, boy, you know, the, uh, the payoff is definitely worth it. And I feel like that's... Um, a metaphor for life uh, and the idea that, you know, it's, it's, life's not easy for any of us, um, but if you just work through your goals, if you really kind of try to achieve uh, the most you can out of life, uh, then, you know, you can really, you know, get something done, even if it's just, you know, a, a mild thing. I mean, you may not end up the president of the United States, but you can get a, you know, a small promotion. You can get, uh, you can, instead of running two miles, you can run four. Um, and that's what life is about, is all these kind of like little small incremental steps. Uh, but it requires yourself to put yourself out there into the world and explore. And I think that's where kind of the outdoor market comes in and the idea of, you know, people not necessarily facing their fears, but uh, being brave and going out into the world. I love to run. Um, you know, I went through a period a couple years ago where I had, uh, you know, I, I used to be a football player, but I had stopped playing sports and put on a lot of weight and, you know, um, life itself wasn't necessarily working out the way I wanted it to. Uh, and the kind of the weight, it's, uh, the weight was really more of a manifestation of that. Um, thankfully, I kind of, you know, I got it right. I got my diet correct. I got on the, you know, I changed my exercise. And a big part of that is on the weekend, I started going out on these, these runs, these, these runs along the beach, you know, here in LA, you know, it's PCH, which runs right along the coast. Uh, and so I would just drive down to the beach, down to, down to Santa Monica and just start running. I'd run as far as I could, then turn around and come run back. Uh, you know, at first I did one mile, then I did two miles, then I did three miles. And, and next thing I know, I was running between kind of 12 to 16 miles a week. Um, usually like every Sunday morning, you know, you know, some people go to church, some people go to temple, some people meditate. For me, I, I go to the beach and run. That's my, that's my release. That's, my, that's the way that I kind of um, bring everything back to center. And it was great, not only because it helped me clear my head and kind of uh, see through, you know, kind of focus on goals and really kind of get some clear time to think. But uh, then along the way, obviously, it also kind of um, was great for the health benefits. You know, I was able to lose the weight. I was able to um, get a lot healthier, both uh, physically and spiritually. And uh, so for me, running has always kind of meant something. Um, and I think visually, uh, you know, I'm always looking for opportunities to, um, to relate that same positive benefit to the people who will look at uh, my, ultimate, my ultimate images. For the look of the project, I knew I wanted kind of, uh, kind of a cold feeling, not cold emotionally, but cold in terms of, you know, the environment, right? Like I, I didn't want it to be like a uh, sunny Southern California beach that you know, I might shoot, you know, a lifestyle 
uh, shot where somebody's you know happy and peppy and, and surfing. But in this particular case, I wanted it to really feel like you know like the world was out there, it was somewhat mysterious, it was somewhat unknown. Um, and you know, so you have the imagery of rolling hills, you have the imagery of of crashing water, um, which all kind of gives a bit of a uh, surreal kind of ominous uh, touch. And the reason I want to do that is because I mean it kind of connects with uh, sometimes the world. You know, the world can be something of a of a scary place. Um, but again, you know, you place into that environment someone who's brave, right? Someone who's determined, someone who's not going to stop. Um, and then now you're telling a story. Now you're telling a story of, of facing your fears. Now you're telling a story of overcoming obstacles, right? Uh, and I think people uh, that see that can then connect with that. And it will help them to, um, you know, hopefully face down their own fears and, and, and uh, challenge themselves in their own lives. You know, it's, uh, it's very easy to kind of uh, sit at home where you're safe and you're comfortable uh, and just, um, you know, and just kind of let the world come to you, right? Uh, you know, spend your whole life on the couch, spend your whole life just kind of going to work, coming home, and kind of just getting through it. Um, but I think, you know, visually what the active or what the outdoor, you know, active uh, market is saying is that there's, there's a big world out there to explore. There's, there's, there's life to be had. There, there are experiences to be had, you know. And if you just kind of can motivate yourself and kind of get yourself out there into the world, uh, you're going to discover a beauty like you've never known before, and you're going to achieve things that you never thought you could do before. Um, and so with the project, The Cove, what I was really trying to do was kind of tap into that. I was trying to, you know, tell the story of a young woman who's really kind of like taking charge of her life, who's uh, going out there to explore, who, who may see this kind of dark and kind of um, challenging world around her. Um, but even in that darkness, there's just great beauty. There's rolling hills, there's crashing waves, there's uh, beautiful, you know, kind of sea life, uh, the wildlife around her. Um, and every time she runs, you know, each of those steps is going to be difficult. You know, she's running up hills, she's running across sand, she's running um, through a number of, like, you know, physical pitfalls, but also kind of uh, metaphorical fit pitfalls that can face one in life. But she's going out there and she, she's attacking it, and she's got no fear. Um, and in that darkness, you can find beauty. And I hope what's coming across in this series is that if you really go out there and try to um, seize the world and seize everything that's going on, uh, you'll find not only the beauty of the world itself, but you'll find the beauty within yourself. And, and, and hopefully that comes across. My name is Christopher Malcolm. I'm a Los Angeles-based lifestyle fitness and activewear photographer and director. Thanks for watching.